Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Brugly channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking about Backrooms Level 43, aka Waterworld. This is like a really, really creepy aquarium that can flood at a random time. So, if that piques your interest, then stick around for the video. And thank you for watching. Let's get into it, shall we? Also, at 500,000 subscribers, I'm going to be buying the entire Backrooms-themed outfit. The shirt, the pants, the socks, the hat, it's going to be pretty cool. So if you want to see me make a full video in that outfit, make sure to subscribe. Now, let's get into the video. So Backrooms Level 43 is classified as a Class 3 difficulty, and is unsafe and not secure. I'll tell you that much for free. The level physically looks like an infinite aquarium, theme park, mall type building that's made up of four specific areas that I'll get into in a second. Aside from those four areas, there are a couple of weird anomalies that happen when you walk around. One of them is that fog will just randomly start rolling through the hallways. It doesn't seem like it's dangerous, but who knows? Another weird instance is that at random times you'll hear boat noises echoing around the level. Uh, again, it's not dangerous. It's pretty weird though. Outside of the aquarium tanks that are in this level, there is nothing alive. And it seems like the entire structure and outside of the structure has been abandoned for a long time. There's trash on the floor, and most of the stuff on this level and inside the buildings are broken or don't work properly. But inside of these buildings is a really weird property as well, and it's that a weird voice comes over the intercom sometimes and says stuff like, The park is closed and some just other stuff like that. It's completely random when it happens, but it's creepy to me. Now, I'm gonna talk about those four main areas of the level, which are the park, the main building, the staff halls, and the water world. So the park is an outdoor area, obviously, and it's always daytime at first. There are a ton of sidewalks that cut through the zone, but most of them just randomly dead end or don't lead to anything. There are benches, bathrooms, food stands, signs, just typical stuff that you'd find in a normal urban park. This area is 100% quiet, no creatures, nothing. It's just so unnervingly quiet that you might be able to just lose your mind. After a couple days of wandering around this zone though, you'll start to see the way the level really looks. This park is actually really broken and nasty looking, which is completely the opposite of what it looks like originally. So after a few days, it shows its true form. That's totally not terrifying or anything. Next is the main building, which is the cool place where all the aquariums and hallways and food courts and that kind of stuff are. The aquarium tanks are filled up with a mixture of salt and almond water, uh, but somehow the animals can still live inside even though it's not 100% either. So the fish that are freshwater fish can live in the salt water and those salt water fish can somehow live in this freshwater. It doesn't make any sense, but it's the back rooms. Nothing makes sense. Now this aquarium part is the only one in the main building that isn't broken down or falling apart and that kind of stuff. The rest of it seems really abandoned and it's kind of like an abandoned mall in a way. The power is flickering on and off and the water is dripping from the ceilings and floors and that kind of stuff. And food places that are on this level are always empty and they have no food and that kind of stuff. Pretty sad if you ask me. And if you walk into this destroyed area for another few days, you'll be sent to the next and third zone called the staff halls. This is a big network of brick hallways with pipes on each side of the wall and there's mechanical machinery noises that are just blasting throughout the entirety of it. It's kind of like what happens on level 2 and level 3 if you mixed it together, but those pipes on the walls here are filled with the same water mixture that's in the aquarium tanks, which means that it's coming from somewhere, but no one knows where. Inside of the hallways, there are these rooms that jut into these old offices that have computers and papers and filing cabinets, that kind of stuff. Most of the computers don't work, but the ones that do all have the same file on it. I'll talk about that in a second, but there's also other files that are all centered around fish themes and ocean stuff and you know that kind of thing but that one creepy file that's on all the computers is titled new underscore video dot avi this file is a glitchy corrupted recording of some human running 
through these hallways on the level while screaming and hollering and that kind of stuff as a huge flood of water follows behind him. And when that flood catches up to him, the recording cuts and an unidentified fish creature swims up to the camera and just looks at it and then it cuts off. Now that is pretty terrifying, I'm gonna be real. And that leads us to believe that the entire level can flood. And by, by golly, it can flood because the way it does is by watching the video that I just told you about. So if you can avoid it, don't click the file and the level won't flood. You'll be fine. The last zone is called the water world and it's pretty much exactly what it sounds like. The water world is when this level is flooded. After someone watches the video, like I just explained, the level will flood with water from an unknown source and the aquarium creatures all get set loose because the water rises up and they can swim up. And there's also unknown fish there and that unknown fish creature is available here too. They're all just swimming around the level and things like sharks that would normally normally be aggressive in real life are now aggressive towards you since they're out of their tanks. So that's pretty bad news if you're just swimming around, <laughs> there could be sharks chasing you or that unidentified fish creature. Either way, the flooded water world is extremely dangerous. The bad news is that this flooded water part of the level is one of the exits you can use. Which, Speaking of exits, you can do that by walking into some bushes in that first park area, which is what I would do, or you can find an opening in the ceiling of the level when the level gets flooded and go through it and you'll be sent to level 85 but like i said i'm definitely choosing the bushes exit because i'm not trying to get drowned in water to enter the level you can go through a taxi on level 11 to be sent here or swim deep deep down into level 7's ocean and you can find a hole that kind of connects here like a wormhole pretty neat So yeah, that was Backrooms Level 43. I hope you enjoyed it. I really like this level. I, I thought it was pretty good, and I really like creepy aquariums and that whole idea of liminal water stuff. So this was just perfect. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. The channel just hit 320,000 subscribers as I'm recording this. Yeah, thank you so much. I cannot express to you how appreciative I am. Thank you so, so much. Like I said at the beginning of the video, at 500K, the Backrooms outfit is going to be on me during the video, and probably in videos past then too. I mean, it's going to be a whole thing. Help me get there by subscribing. We're on track to hit it not too far away. Thank you so much. If you want to help me get there, drop a sub, or you can check the description and check any links you need, like my Discord, Twitter, second channel, that kind of stuff, and make sure to check it out if you like that kind of thing. Anyways, thank you for everything. Seriously, I love you all. Thank you so much. I will see you in the next video. Peace.